on the road to the capital of Catalonia. This is the region on strike, following the imprisonment of their leaders who breached Spain's constitution to push for independence. There are thousands upon thousands of people here. Some of them have been marching for over three days. They're angry and they feel aggrieved. And they're heading for the centre of Barcelona. They're calling for the release of their leaders and they want independence. These people are here because the politicians and activists who tried to declare that independence will spend between 9 and 13 years in prison. Some people say that they broke the law so they have to pay the price. Yes, but we think that the price is too high. And like, do you feel Spanish? No. That feeling is driving today's dissent that follows a week of disorder. We were out on the streets of Barcelona last night. In a city famous for its ball skills, protesters played games in peace and then the kickoff. On the other side of the city, the far right were holding a counter demonstration. So up until this moment, it's been peaceful. But parallel to where we are right now, there's been a huge group of the far right marching down. And as you can see, the police are anticipating action. Here, ultra-nationalists are playing a game of cat and mouse with the police. They want to break the police line to make their way towards the Catalan protesters. The police push them back, but they aren't done yet. This week, Catalan protesters and anti-fascists have clashed with the police. But now that the far right have entered, there are battles everywhere. It's hard to tell which group is which, but we do know this fire was caused by Catalan protesters. Many of your leaders have said that they want to see peace, and this does not look like peace. We want peace. But this does not look like peace. This does not look like peace because they have forced us to make this. But surely this is not the right way to go about. I'm sure this is not the right way. It's just the only way we have. This week's clashes have been widely condemned. And in this region, independence does not have universal support. For so many years, you say that Spain is a repression, it's a repressive state, that Spain is stealing from us. If for so many years you're creating this hate or the hatred against the rest of Spain, it is inevitably that some people in your party, in your camp, will become a little bit violent. But this movement had grown in the midst of Spain's constitutional crisis. Many here say they've become radicalized by national corruption and what they believe was the violent response of the state after the illegal independence referendum of 2017. When I saw um, all the um, uh, Spanish police just hitting my people, because I was living in Canada by then, and when I saw that images and, and all my people were here just trying to vote, that was all. They just wanted to vote because it was a referendum that, that it was also punished by the, the Spanish government. And, and that day, I couldn't say I'm a Spanish anymore. I'm ashamed of Spain. This way that is growing, has become an expression of the distrust for national politics. In this story, a referendum and the unlawful actions of a government, this one being Catalan, has further polarised the divided nation. Does any of that sound familiar? All week in Barcelona, there have been clashes here between young Catalan protesters and the police. And it seems like they're intensifying because there are more young people tonight on the streets than there were yesterday. Of course, that was expected because today is the day of the general strike in which hundreds of thousands of people have taken to the streets. But what's been interesting is that this week at night time, predominantly young people have, stay, have stayed around and have began to raise their spirits and in some cases have taken it too far. Now, just three blocks from here right now, there are active clashes between the police and protesters. Many of these young people are teenagers and they've said to me that they feel a, song, a strong sense of feeling like they're Catalan and not Spanish. Now this is not new in the sense that people have always felt a strong sense of being Catalan. This is a, an old identity, there is a language, there is a national anthem, there is a strong sense of self. But what's interesting is that in recent years, 
that movement for independence has been has grown. It's being radicalized. And many of the people we spoke to today said that they have felt pushed to do more either by the national corrupt, corrupt, corruption scandals or by seeing pictures since the referendum two years ago in which the separatist leaders were found to have acted unconstitutionally, seeing the pictures of the clashes that followed since has pushed them to get more active. Now, although this movement is growing, what's really interesting is how this relates to the, the international mood. On the very day that we're talking about how the UK is planning to lead the European Union, here we have another story in which at the heart of it is polarisation, at the heart of it is identity politics, and at the heart of it is also a referendum.